Hey, what's happening there guys? Elton here. I'm in uh, the uh, Hunsik sector of the city. It's snowing again, but it is beautiful when it's early in the season like this. It's November 20th right now, I think. Look at that, next to a Jewish cemetery. People are dying to get in here. Between that and uh, the entrance of a commuter train station and a uh, Montreal Public Works garage. So that's one of the reasons why I thought it'd be neat to do this video walking this street here. I think that it's, uh, wow, these actually look brand new. Yeah. I back up frequently in French. Yeah, this is, I think, right at Meilleur Street. See, this is the Sauvé commuter train station. Oh, no, sorry. This I always screw this up. It's not Meilleur Street. It's Port Royal Street. Port Royal. Where you get screwed royally. I know, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. It's such a beautiful day. Not. But, again, I wanted to uh, film a walk on the street. Showcasing for one thing all the equipment here City of Montreal Public Works garage one of the garages anyway one of many garages and Also, uh, I did film a walk on this street uh, We're walking towards uh, Rue, La Rue Saint Laurent Saint Lawrence Street and uh, I did actually film a walk there once on this street, but it was actually past Saint Laurent and It was actually on a some beautiful balmy uh, summer day evening and uh, so this is really quite a contrast, isn't it? <laughs> and I just realized recently that since uh, YouTube is pulling the plug on uh, monetizing a lot of my videos that I swear too much, I, uh, I'm gonna have to really start minding my P's and Q's not swear so much unless I really feel that I have to in terms of expressing some sort of uh, madness or frustration. Uh, excuse me, I should say so expressing some sort of frustration in, in a fucking maddening world. Yeah. Anyway, plus of course it gets on so many people's nerves, the swearing, you know, they're annoyed by it and they think I don't have any class and blah blah blah. Jesus, you know, some people, they're like afraid to swear practically. Also, I've uh, got an ulterior motive for going this way because yeah, that's, that's, that commuter train line is also a CN train line. So I figure if I stick by it long enough I might see some action. And, as well as, uh, maybe I'll find an old car around here to fill my saw. One time when I did a walk on one of them side streets in this old industrial area, I did see an old Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, I don't know, 88 to like 91, something like that. So it'd be cool if I saw it again, because Daddy always needs more automotive old school subjects. No, no, excuse me, I should say vintage subjects, not old school. Old school can mean like a vintage theme. I'll give you an example. You got a lot of these uh, bikes there you can buy now for the last so many years. Very popular, especially in Japan, is those vintage style bikes. They look vintage, but they're not actually vintage. See what I mean? They look old school, but they're not. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a kind of ironic next to a public works garage. All these, you know, chainsaws and snowblowers and all that shit. There's your base model Dodge Crew Cab here, City of Montreal. Yeah. Ford competition going by. I'd like to film some elevators in here, but uh, I don't know. There seems to be some pretty high security there, so it's probably some important offices. And uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, whatever. I'm happy I just filmed some a nice, uh, nice elevator in that uh, for that commuter station anyway. Didn't even know there was two of them until recently, so... Oh, actually, no, come to think of it, did I film that one before? No, I don't think I did. I would have remembered that. Yeah, whatever, I talked too much. I'm gonna give my gums a break. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's gonna win a lot of people over. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Specifically those white supremacist types. Oh yeah, they're, they're really fun of that, that's for sure. They love the Muslims and blacks and Latinos and blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. No, that's the one actually that has the important government offices right here. Yeah. What's it called? It's called something rodmax.com. Well, I don't care as long as they're not screwing people over. <laughs> That's all I care about. This building, I filmed a grotty old Otis elevator, though, in this building right here. Woo. 
probably eventually will be revamped like that whole fucking building anyway. <laughs> These vans here, is this one of the weirdest friggin' minivans ever made? And not only is it a minivan, look how overweight it looks. It's just so, it looks just so too big and, and I don't know, it's just weird as hell. There, they see that's more sensible. GMC Safari, or sorry, a Chevy Astro, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Right now we're approaching La Rue Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent Street. There's a nice old Dodge Ram there, kind of a dying breed around here in the Rust Belt, circa 1990s. Good shape. Well, so it seems. Looked at it really quick. What do I know? Uh, uh, <laughs> Got some rust. It's hidden. Looking at old. There's a nice old Forerunner there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I got confused actually. The street called Meillard is actually a few blocks down that way. You'll see it in a moment there, in a few minutes there, in several minutes. Boy, it's just snowing and snowing. They say, what is it, two to three centimeters today? No, I think it'll be even more than that. Saint Laurent Street, which goes all the way down to downtown Montreal, and that part closer to there, and the plateau is known as the main, as in the main street. Jesus Christ, hard to believe it's November, fuck. It looks like January. That's, I've said it before and I'll say it again. And one of my subscribers mentioned it. I don't remember who you are. Hey, there's that Lincoln I like. He said, he says, you know, that we went from summer to fall so quickly, or even into winter, I should say, even though it's not technically winter yet. I did mention a date. And I mean, like, wow, it, it is amazing because... It's like there's not a, as much of a gradual change between seasons as there used to be, no? Really? Relax, go do it. If you want to go do it, relax. Check out this old industrial building here. And look at that facade they added to it. Wow, that's, that's neat. I think they added it, or maybe not. Eh? Or all the glasses changed, maybe? I don't know. Boy, I tell you, the cars couldn't look more colorless today than ever. Look at this fucking weird place for a apartment building. Jesus Christ, it, it looks like a motel. Fuck, what a weird design. There's not even a view on that side. Keeping my ear, ears peered. I'm keeping my ears peeled <laughs> for some diesel power. Locomotive, that is. Oh, look at that old Ford. Is that a Bronco? Oh, look at a nice old pickup. Wow, that's a sweetheart right there. Oh, it's a, it's a big one too. She's the biggie. That's a F, uh, F, uh, F250? 87, 89, 86. Looks like a fucking motel. Weird. Nice looking Ford. Yeah. Look at this. There's an old sign. Look at that. Holy shit. Check that out. Machine à coudre supreme. Supreme sewing machines. Yeah, very old area. I think this is area is also part of the Schmata business. Schmata, it means the rag trade, aka the textile industry, or as it's known in, as they call it in the states, in the southern states, the textile industry, as I learned from the movie Norma Ray. Uh, anything remotely interesting here? Yeah, I was looking for one of those Fords to film one of those pickups. But I want to find one that's clean though, because most of them are fucked. All rusted out, or in bad shape. You know? Damn it, my toes are getting cold. I knew I should have wore a pair of fucking socks that were warmer. I should have wore my wool socks for free sake. I should have put on two pairs anyway. You keep my economic... Oh, speaking of an old sign. Economical equipment. Hey, look, there's a snap-on truck. I think this is the street where I saw that Grand Prix, no? Oh, yeah, these are nice, man. Look at that fucking platform for loading and unloading. Holy cow. Crazy. And I'm going to cross here just to zoom in to see if there's anything i interested in filming here. Probably not, but let's take a look. Not everything around here is uh, textile-related. 
Shit, there's even a crane company down here. I think I showed him in one of my walks once. See the Arctic scrap? That's uh, Boulevard Sauvé. Sauvé Boulevard, which goes west to Couverture Boulevard. Yeah. Or I should say, it becomes Couverture Boulevard, is what I should say. You know what I just remembered? I think there's an exotic car dealer here somewhere. I think it's the next building. They had some uh, Maserati or something in there not long ago. Look at this place. Oh, it almost looks like it's closed, eh? Local à Louis, bureau à Louis. There are uh, uh, offices for rent. That's something you see really frequently now in uh, um, in high-rise buildings, really, you know? Oh, daddy, look at this. This is the place. Check this out. Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce or Bentley. Phantom Ghost. What a weird place for this area, though. Now, if I remember right, actually, the hood ornament on these opens and closes. It goes into a slot when you turn it off, and it goes back out when you turn the car on. Something like that. I hear a freight, I think. Yeah, I think I hear a freight. Oh, okay, well, there was no CN freight as it turns out. So I'm gonna walk right back to where I was at this dealership here. It's fucking weird, you ever seen a dealership that had fucking mirrored glass on it all around. What the hell is that all about? That doesn't make any fucking sense. You want you don't want people to see what you have in there. I mean, <laughs> talk about redundant fuck. You don't have just a normal BMW 5 Series like this in there. Come on. Oh yeah yeah. That takes all kinds. What are we at now? Now we're at Waverly. Another very British type name. Now that Pontiac Grand Prix I saw was here last summer and I should have filmed it actually. But I think in hindsight, I wasn't filming cars that weren't that old yet and uh, not only that, uh, I don't think it was in great condition. It's probably in the fucking boneyard by now anyway. So whatever. Yeah. Raphael. Sewing machine expert, eh? Look at this. Singer, brother, Faf. Tetsu, Tetsu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, the uh, the train that I heard definitely, I don't really think was a CN. I think it was actually a CP because there's a CP line there that's also a commuter line that crosses uh, the CN line. So it kind of sucks, which means I missed a CP line, a CP train, which was not far from down there, actually. Down there where I'm pointing. So. It's actually funny too, because when I was here last summer, or was it last year? I can't remember. I think I got one or two freights right here. Beautiful low sun. Oh God, I miss summer already. Look at this Esplanade. Esplanade. Yeah. Good looking color in that Ford. That's pretty rare. Rare. It's rare. All these cars here. Anything vintage? Doubt it. No doubt about it. Got a whiz again. Damn bladder. God damn it. Try to make it real compared to what? I had a flashback though uh, last year when I was north, one block north of here. Like I said, the one block north of here is. Uh, Sauvé Boulevard, just over down that way, and uh, Christ, it was so fucking cold. It was like minus 20 something in a in a cold spell that I actually I had to uh, I actually had to go by a bus going around looking for snow removal operations. You just couldn't stay outside too long. It was just too damn cold, you know. So what's that? Quest, huh? Boring. Boring. There's Meunier Street. Let's do Meunier. Yeah. 
Oh, look at this. What the fuck? Look at that GMC. Nice. You know, it's funny. Those trucks are are, uh, are very common in other parts of North America, but not around here. And one of the big reasons is, is because, you see, back in the 90s, Urgence Santé, which is our paramedic ambulance service, that's all they had. They had these GMC top kicks from the 90s, but apparently they were just troublesome. And uh, so they were just had, they just got a bad reputation. I think that's why nobody really uh, continued to order those. But look what we have here. Check this out. Here's a uh, earlier mid 90s uh, Buick Skylark. That's a model I like actually. I met at one time a paraplegic who had the, that. He had one of these and it had custom controls on the steering wheel for the gas and brake. No joke. I think that might even be the same one. Yeah. But again, I don't know how old that is. It looks to me like it could be like pff, fucking whatever, 96, 97. I don't know. It's not it's not super rare. It's not uh I'm not inclined to want to make a video of it yet. You know. Hang on a second. I got to check that again. Oof. Look at that Buick though. It's a decent car. I like the, I like how this car it had the big car styling compared to uh you know, the Cavalier or the uh, the Grand Am. La Grand Am, la Pontiac. Ça marche, Pontiac. Yeah. Anyway, we're finishing this walk soon here. There, there's Tollhurst. Tollhurst Street. I love the name of that street. It's just such an odd name, I find. Tollhurst. Sounds like Toll Booth. Toll Bridge, you know? And there's a bar there, or a bar, a restaurant, whatever. Typical design, looks like most tavern kind of a <laughs> typical old fucking bar design, 60s and under, I don't know, 70s and under, let's say, give or take. Give or take. Look at that, eh? That's been looks like it's been closed for a while. There's not even a fucking door there. And then we're at Jean Mans, Jean Mans, which is a horrible way to pronounce that. Ooh, look at that steam, beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not getting warmer though. Not getting warmer. But at least I played it smart today. I, I knew where the wind was coming from. It's coming from behind me from the east, so I figured, well, I'll be all right. Let's see what that car is. Probably a Tercel or something. Pacific, actually. Ah, uh, wouldn't it be nice if there was like a 78 or 79 Chevy Malibu just like parked somewhere around here? Ah, that'd be cool. That would be sweet. Alas, I think sometimes the only way that would happen is if it was one I saw from out west that was in a beater condition, you know, and the guy come here and moved here from wherever, fucking BC, Alberta or some Saskatchewan and, you know, drive it until the fucking wheels fall off. As we say, oh, I think that's the crane company. Yeah, there's that crane company. Yes, sir. Yeppers. <sighs> yeah, quite the contrast being here now, eh, and not uh, in the summertime. I never walked through here in the winter before. I guess you could say anybody who says you should embrace winter, I guess I probably do that more than a lot of people, I guess. Even though I hate it. But it has its positive sides. Just like anything. Just like people, you know? I like people, I hate them. It goes both ways. Both ways. Ugh. Fingers are cold. Fucking the toes are cold. Ugh. That's interesting. It says la porte, les portes, la liberté, la liberté doors, and there's a picture of of the the fucking Statue of Liberty. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the fucking the uh, correlation is, but whatever. Still need to see. Yeah. Ugh. 
I'm gonna go in this place. I'm gonna go see if I can take a piss. I think the last time I went through here was like a Sunday or something. I wonder if maybe there would be an elevator in there I could film probably. Yeah, I'm gonna go right, uh, right up to the end over here and uh, film at least the end here, and then I'll uh, walk back to this building here, the Centre Port Royal. Mind you, if they have any elevators, they've probably all been all redone because usually when you see a place and all the windows are redone like this and all the entrance, chances are the ele elevators were modernized as well. Well, it's guitars, Cadillacs, hillbilly music, lonely, lonely streets that I call home. Well, it's guitars, Cadillacs, hillbilly music. Lonely, lonely streets that I call home. <laughs> and now we're finally approaching the street mayor, as I was saying. Uh, I've been here a few times where I wanted to film a freight going by, but I never had the timing, so instead I, uh, but I did, uh, get a, I don't know, a couple of commuters, I guess, that's for sure. And that's all recent, all that fence here for this uh, Hydro-Quebec station, that's all new. It wasn't there before, actually. Yeah. That is mayor. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hibernate until spring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.